um, I did ask for a priest to come, but he forgot to add it in his calendar, uh, even though he was the youngest in the diocese. Yeah. Uh, uh, today's gospel reminds us of uh, the question sometimes children come to us and ask, Grandpa, Grandma, where is God? Yeah. Or even in today's world, when people face tragedies and difficult situations in their life, they ask the same questions, where is God? And God gives us the answer today, God is among us, and as we learn in the catechism, God is everywhere, right? And uh, just like I think if, you, uh, if a president flies in an airplane, what do we call that airplane? Air Force One. Air Force One. Right? And then if a pope flies in another airplane, what do you call that airplane? Shepherd One. Shepherd one. <laughs> and then so wherever the president flies in the airplanes, that one is called Air Force One, right? So wherever God is, the kingdom is, right? His kingdom is where he is. Wherever he is, that is his kingdom. He's in heaven, but he's among us just as he was among the people that he was talking to. Uh, there was a little girl that I read. A little girl asked the Grandpa, Grandpa, where is God? And then he, he brought her to a little well, and then in the little well, she saw her reflection of herself. Yeah. And the, the lamp, Grandpa told the little girl, well, that's where God is. God is in you. But it's true, God is in us. We are the temple of the Holy Spirit, right? God dwells in us, so we are his kingdom. And so, of course, this is the present kingdom as well. And so as we reflect on the first reading that Kathy proclaimed to us, uh, St. Paul reminds us, uh, uh, I forgot what's the name, Philemon, that uh, Asimus uh, is the one that he should receive, is the one that he that did injustice to him. Uh, you should receive someone back because God is in uh, Asimus, yeah, um, in 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 the person of Paul, in the person of Asimus as well. Uh, Sometimes we cannot forgive somebody, uh, but um, I remember a reading somewhere where it quotes, um, "If you cannot forget." forgive someone who's in, who did injustice to you, uh, then uh, there might be two bad people out there. Yeah. Uh, because if we keep that anger and hatred in us, then we become that person uh, showing anger and hatred toward uh, someone else. Yeah. So hopefully as we examine today is that really God's word, Jesus' word, that God is in us, God is in front of the people that we serve or work with or see or interact and talk with, then we will be more able to accept, uh, to forgive, and to love. Let us then, as we present to God our prayers, that Pope Francis, Bishop of Rome, may draw strength and comfort from the affection and loyalty of his people in Rome and from Catholics around the world. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray that we may recognize the equality of all baptized into Christ and not make distinctions between people. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our prayer. prayer. We pray for justice in every nation for humane treatment of prisoners, for victims of oppression, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for all those who are ill or who are burdened with serious or chronic illness, that through prayer they may discover the comfort, patience, and love of Christ and be made whole, physically, spiritually, and emotionally, especially Stacy Demetrius, Abby Gudano, Christina Ho, Aaron Hughes, Clint Kleinsmith, Merrick Mueller, Rita Russo, Esteban Salcido, Sherry Boissonnet, Sylvan Marcial, and Maria Cordero. We pray to the Lord. 
Lord, hear our prayer. We pray that those who died in Christ will meet Jesus in heaven, that glory, peace, and eternal joy will be theirs forever. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. Lord God, we present these our prayers and the prayers deep within our hearts, trusting your love and mercy. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Merciful God, Pour out your blessing upon these offerings and confirm us in the faith that St. Joseph had professed by the shedding of his blood through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for the blood of your blessed martyr Josephat, poured out like Christ to glorify your name, shows forth your marvelous work, by which in our weakness you perfect your power, and on the feeble bestow strength to bear you witnesses through Christ our Lord. And so with all the powers of heaven. We worship you constantly on earth, and before your majesty, without end, we proclaim. Heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving you thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up. For you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your dead, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memoir of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly, we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church, spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Cantu, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. 
welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us, O we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, the Saint Thomas of Canterbury, Saint Joseph, and all the saints who please you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, and in unity of the Holy Spirit, O glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Together as one family, let us pray to our Father. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, O Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said your apostle, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the fate of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who lives and reigns forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Let us share one another a sign of Christ's peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter into my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. So keep your peace in Father, Son, and Spirit. Amen. The body of Christ. For those of you at home or not otherwise receiving communion, please join us in saying the prayer for spiritual communion. The body of Christ. My Jesus, I believe that you are in the blessed sacrament. The body of Christ. I love you above all things. And I long for you in my soul. Since I cannot now receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. As though you have already come, I embrace you and unite myself entirely to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen.
Let us pray. May this heavenly table, Lord, bestow on us a spirit of fortitude and peace, so that following St. Josephat's example, we may willingly spend our lives working for the honor and unity of your Church, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our Mass is ended. Let us go in the peace and joy of our Lord. And also on Sunday, uh, we have the uh, First Responder Mass, where we pray for all the first responders, especially in our community. So if you know somebody or you, your family has one, uh, please, nurse, doctors, uh, paramedics, firefighters, police officers, and so on, if you could please uh, come, and then we will celebrate and ask God blessings uh, on uh, those uh, people who work hard to keep our life safe and to save our life. Yeah. So thank you very much. It's noon on Sunday, this Sunday outdoor, because they will, we will see uh, firefighters, uh, trucks, fire trucks, and ambulance and stuff that we could take picture afterwards, hopefully. Mm -hmm.